Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have very exciting news for you. We are closing in on the first alpha release of the new cosmic environment for Pop OS, and I'm really excited to share what I have with you. So keep watching and welcome to my channel. Okay, closing in on an alpha release, cosmic alpha countdown. I'm really excited. So let's just go through. We are on approach towards an alpha version of the new Cosmic desktop environment for Pop! OS and other distros. So yes, if you are running something else, you will be able to use Cosmic, so that is really good news. Meanwhile, Cosmic tests have expanded to more users around the office. It's always a good thing. The more number of users you have, the better the result, the more bugs you can catch. And this month, they are providing updates to the checklist that we published on January for the remaining tasks on releasing the alpha. Now they have a couple of screenshots. Let's just go through them one by one. Now this is the first one. It looks really good. These are This is the screen capture or screen record utility. I'm not sure there is an option to screen record, but the option to capture looks absolutely good. I would love it if they, down the road, release something to include the ability to screen record as well, like GNOME does. That is really amazing. They have floating window stacks. So this feature is now implemented in Cosmic currently. Stacking allows you to pair tiled windows together across applications like tabs in a web browser. But in Cosmic, you also have the ability to stack floating windows. This can be done by simply dragging a window to the stack header, drag it out of the header to remove it from the stack. Meanwhile, launching an application with a stack is while a stack is selected, will add that application to the stack. Lots of jargon. Uh, I, I just love it, man. I love the one, two, three, four, the different workspaces they have and two windows. So this is the uh, tabbed behavior for their text editor. And they have cosmic text, which we already talked about in a previous video. So now they have a new shape run cache feature, which was added to cosmic text that enhances the cosmic terminal performance. Text shaping determines the position of a character based on adjacent characters, which enables it to use special glyphs where necessary. So that is very exciting. Now, since shape is cached to improve performance, this will be this will result in a faster behavior and higher frame rates for the cosmic terminal, especially when you're on when you're just have when you just have repeated characters that need to be rendered on your screen. Now let's move on to the on-screen displays or the OSD. Now the designs are complete. That's an amazing news. Even for an alpha, these graphical overlays are what you see when you do things like adjust the volume, brightness, so something like this where I turn the keyboard brightness on and off or something like uh, turning down the volume. So things like these are the OSD and they have been improved. So let's just open the picture. And yeah, it, it's, it looks really good. One thing I notice is that there is no, uh, like the differentiation between the windows isn't that, I, I don't wanna say isn't that good, but I would have really liked if there was some sort of a shadow, that would have been really good. I think this has a shadow too, right? Yeah, so Pop! OS currently has a shadow, and I would really like to see this being implemented in Pop! OS Cosmic, at least further down the line, because let's not forget this is an alpha after all. It's very unfair to judge an operating system based on the alpha and even based on screenshots. We don't even have the official thing running on my system. So this is the touchpad uh, on or off, so it looks pretty good. Window management, a lot of things. This is some Latin text or whatever, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter, but I like the settings panel. You have different window controls to show active window hint. Maybe I'll disable this. Not the biggest fan of a huge border, especially blue border. Show maximize restore button. This I would always enable. Minimize, I would enable this too. Show legacy app headers. Maybe I'll enable this too. So I like to keep all the three. I haven't installed the GNOME extension uh, in my new Pop! OS install. I'm on a new laptop, by the way. But um, I just do this. I haven't bothered to do it over here, but I really prefer having all the three present. Airplane mode on and off. And this also gives us a very good look at what the light mode is going to look like. So yeah, it looks good. It's not that light. Uh, I mean, it's gray. It's uh, it looks good. And I and I just want to see how it develops. And I really like this color better 
than the other blue. I'm really sick of that blue. Uh, nothing wrong with that color, but I, I, I'm just so used to seeing this color all the time. Next is maximize. So animations were added for the top bar and dock that occur when a window either maximizes or exits a maximized state. That's really good. Display settings, design and implementation is now complete. Adjust display orientation, scale, resolution, and more. The ability to clone displays is planned for after the alpha release. I imagine a ton of features are also planned for after the alpha release. So let's not judge the operating system too hard, especially based on a blog post. Wallpaper settings, design and implementation were completed here too. Set wallpapers per display, run them on a slideshow and much more. And I would really love to see more wallpapers out of the box from Pop! OS like Linux Mint does. It's not a matter of just downloading wallpapers off the internet. It's, it's a matter of the selection that the operating system provides on its own. Final stretch, hybrid graphics. This is something I'm really excited for since I am now using an NVIDIA 4060 mobile. So I would really like to see uh, the performance improvements with the hybrid mode or whatever comes up. So let's just go through what it has. So Cosmic works with graphics drivers to provide greater control, predictability, and performance with hybrid graphics. And by the way, hybrid graphics is going to be the default mode and probably the only mode. So you're not going to have integrated graphics, only NVIDIA graphics or compute graphics. I'm not totally sure what this is, but you're not going to have these options. It's going to be at hybrid by default and probably the only option available to you. Preliminary performance tests look promising, but we're still exploring more ideas to take this further. And they're also working on to maximize the performance on systems that use multiple GPUs. Thanks to improvements in graphics drivers over the years, hybrid graphics mode now has minimal impact on battery life when the GPU is not in use. Wayland and Cosmic Comp, meanwhile, give us more control over what causes the GPU to turn on. When Cosmic users wish to save laptop battery, the battery applet will tell them when the GPU is being used and which apps are using it. Closing those apps will turn off the GPU. So this is a far better approach than just randomly selecting integrated graphics to save your battery or NVIDIA graphics to uh, to ensure that your games and whatever applications that you're running are being run on the NVIDIA graphics. So you're not going to have to deal with the trade-offs for, for each of these applications. So that is pretty good. And also, you don't really have to worry about turning any options, not because you wouldn't have options, but because you would already know that closing an app will turn off the GPU. So it will, so it gives you the peace of mind to actually work with your computer better instead of having to micromanage stuff on your own. Now are some of the things which are in progress. So Cosmic Terminal, I mean, obviously this is an alpha release. I have been repeating it for like the hundredth time today. Cosmic Terminal, remaining items for the terminal include custom color schemes, profiles, and splits. The splits feature allows you to divide the terminal window vertically into two working areas. This can also be customized to use multiple splits as well. I'm not totally sure this would lead us to a GitHub page. Uh, I am hoping that they have a picture, but they don't. So yeah. Cosmic edit, remaining items for Cosmic text editor, including splits, file menu functionality, and spell check. Very important, spell check. Tiling applet. The tiling applet is being implemented and includes the option to toggle auto tiling per workspace. That is a really good, let's just open the image and automatically tile windows. I like to keep it off, but options there for you to enable it. Tile windows on workspaces all or per. New workspace behavior tiled or floating. Floating, I think by default is a good choice. Tile current workspace, navigate windows, move window. I really like that they have the the shortcuts mentioned. I think they do it now too. If I click here, they do have the shortcut keys mentioned, which I think is a really cool touch. And they have you all shortcuts, show active window hint. I'm, I'm going to turn that off probably. And window management settings. By the way, the, the, the thing that they have going on for them right now, I like it very much. So if I tile windows and if I say open up uh, OBS Studio and uh, let's just active hint color, but show active hint. I, I honestly, I like this orange, orange-ish color a lot better than that blue color. This is way more um, pleasing to my eyes. And this, uh, 
I, I think they are planning to give us more colors, but I mean, I, I don't want to sound too picky on colors. They don't really matter at the end of the day, but I think for a first impressions kind of thing, they do. And I would also like to turn this active hint off. So yeah, there we go. Anyway, let's let's move on. Input device settings. So the wrapping implementation for the peripherals and they have a cosmic app and applet icons. They took a detour on designing app and applet icons to kick off designs for Cosmic's file manager. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, a new file manager, right? I would love to see, okay, and that's the next point. An application for files is now in the works. Designs will be shared later on once they're ready. Cosmic's file manager, text editor, and terminal serve to test the developer experience in building apps on Cosmic as well as showcasing its capabilities. Workspaces, a center to the user experience of Cosmic DE with many important variables to consider. Workspaces remain under construction. Okay, really excited to see what comes because this is what Pop! OS does, I believe. Yeah, this is the workspaces feature and I really like it. It's, it's really cool. I wish it was three fingers instead of four because I'm used to Mac OS because uh, I that's that's what I'm used to for at least for switching uh, different workspaces. So yeah, uh, it, but, but it depends on the size of the trackpad that you have. If you have a large trackpad, four fingers is not that much of a big deal. And I wish that they provide some options to change the gestures with the workspaces. So that would be something which is pretty good. Minimize and restore on Cosmic applications will minimize to a specialized applet that stores and presents all minimized windows as thumbnails. That is amazing. Login screen, progress on the new login screen. Cosmic Greeter is ongoing. Design matching and, oh my God, finally. A new aesthetic calls for new wallpapers. They're still being designed, but rest assured, they're bound to be spacey, starry, and all around Cosmic. I would love to see this. And I thought this mentioned something else at the, <laughs> at the beginning, if you know what I mean. And we are at 24.04 Rebase. The official release of Cosmic DE will debut in Pop! OS 24.04 Rebase. And it's going to be based on Ubuntu 24.04. That's a, that's a no-brainer, I believe, at this point. And yeah, they are going to have a festival, Linux Northwest Festival. So I don't know if you're from America, if you live around there, maybe you can go there. That's, uh, it's going to be amazing. Carl's talk will be on Sunday, April 27th. So if you are from America and if you're watching this video, Leave a comment down below where you're from, by the way. And uh, if you're near about that, the place where, you know, conference is going to be held. So yeah, go there, have fun. It's it's for you guys after all, right? Pop! OS is my go-to. I can hate about the color choices all day long, but I will not bat an eye to any, I will not even look at any other distro when it comes to me and my work getting done. Pop! OS is my choice and will be my choice till the end of time. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next side. Peace.